the Academy of Queensland Super Middleweight title and fighting out of the red corner tonight. Weighing in at 77.6 kilos with a record of nine fights for seven wins. From the Hustle Fight Club, trained by Russell Winterich, ladies and gentlemen, Liam Hennings! Steve Robinson joining me again straight out of the ring. It is very warm down there. And uh, we've got two fights to go. Queensland Super Middleweight title. Full tie rules. The guys are uh, uh, sealing the ring. And uh, <coughs> ready to go. So this uh, fight will see elbows, knees, spinning back fists, spinning elbows. Whatever these guys can pull off and they're what they've trained for. So uh, it'll be an interesting little battle. Uh, Liam's uh, in the red corner had nine fights. Matthews in the blue corner had 17 fights. So uh, it's been interesting to see uh, if the experience does uh, mean anything and uh, and uh, how both boys uh, uh, shape up against each other here. Coming into the center for final instructions with Ben Holly. Both guys looking very focused, very confident, and you'd expect that with that, that amount of experience with both of these guys. Liam out of the red corner fighting from Hustle FC. Matthew out of the blue corner fighting out of Fighters Haven. And we are off. Let's see how these uh, boys shape up against each other. Throwing hands, trying to work out each other's Distance straight into a grapple, throws into the ground. <clears throat> nice right, nice left punch there. Fighting southpaw is blue. Loading up the, holding that left ready to unload it. Red corner not, not perturbed at all. Trying to work out his range. The fighting the left hander. So just feeling their reach, trying to work out what's going to happen. Each, uh, each one countering every time one of them attacks. Some leg checks there with the inside leg. Pushes away out of that grapple. Doesn't seem to be a fan. Blue saw side. Quite a, quite a contrast tonight. We started uh, earlier on with the sun in our eyes and now it's uh, middle of the night. So uh, the ring looks nice and uh, Lit up there, nice, nice heavy hands by Blue, setting the red corner back into the corner. Nice work by both boys. And time. So the end of the first round, sees the guys go back into the corner, chat to their coaches, 
their trainers and sort of uh, tell them where they need to uh, fix stuff up and sort things out and how to uh, deal with what they've uh, just learned about each other in the, in the ring there. Just a reminder that if you need photos of tonight, you'd like photos or anything, get a hold of uh, Santa, uh, Savannah Bronson uh, Photography. Uh, one of our sponsors tonight that's uh, taking care of all the photos, doing a good job in there and everywhere. Seconds down and uh, time for round two. And we are about ready to go. Red moving forward, trying to put his dominance in there. Nice right, right straight, followed up with a by a head kick. Leg kicks there everywhere by Red. Nice striking on that inside leg. Head return inside shot. Nice head kicks by both by both fighters. And blue just lining him up, pushing him into the corner. Red not really perturbed, moving back out, keeping at range though. I think I still think he's not quite sure what to do with the left hander. Near the fighter taking a backward step, let me tell you, they're uh, both both in here to win this title. Ooh, nice left hand by the by blue. Shot. Oh, heavy hands there in the blue corner. And again. And the end of the second round. We are uh, coming up to the end of the, uh, the evening, this fight, and then one more fight after this. And we'd like to make sure that we uh, uh, thank our sponsors, TH. Uh, TFH, temporary, temporary hire services. Um, those guys will take care of anything you need to uh, to hire. Cap security services, as well as uh, uh, our, um, our blast off services consultancy. So uh, these guys taking care of all the, se the security over the weekend at the event here, done it, doing a good job uh, keeping everyone uh, under control and uh, we've, had, we've had no, no uh, problems, so it's been really good. We're starting off in the third round now. And off they go. Blue's hands are pretty heavy. I don't think uh, Red uh, likes it. Likes those hands at all. Both, both, both sides freely throwing, throwing kicks. Nice, nice left straight counted. Thank you. 
fighters. Ooh, nice left punch there from Blue. Straight through his guard. Very good, nice work. Ooh, kicks from both sides. Taking control and dumping red. Ten seconds to go in this round. Great, uh, it's been a great event this weekend. I think a, uh, a lot of people have enjoyed uh, watching both the uh, horses and the bull riding, uh, not to mention all the fights. Um, and they've been so well matched. Um, in many of these fights, uh, top class fights, some top class fighters, and uh, representing their gyms extremely well this weekend. So, here we go. Round four. Still trying to work out what's going on. For my money, Blue's looking dangerous. He just can't quite work out how to get in there and take advantage of that. I still think Red's struggling to work out how to work out a southpaw. Oh, a nice straight left punch. Straight through his guard. Nice combination, punch, punch, kick. Good. Yeah. A few knees thrown there. Some nice hands. Red. Red finding some courage there, moving forward on him. Having some success there. Blue's just picking him off though as he's walking into him. each other out. Nice, nice left overhand, nice left jab through the guard. Very well trained and very well skilled fighters in the ring at the moment. Liam Hennings in the red corner from Hustle Fight Club, trained by Russell Winridge. And in the blue corner, Matthew Frinkew, 17 by 17 wins from Fighters Haven. my money I think uh, Blue's getting up at these fights at the moment in this fight yeah, but uh, obviously uh, that's the judge's decision super middleweight Queensland title this one so I uh, haven't seen uh, too many elbows I think maybe in the first round but uh, guys haven't sort of uh, worked out how to clinch and throw a lot of knees yet so uh, we may not see that we'll see how that goes if it's a uh, I'd imagine it's much similar to most of the other rounds 
Red, red walking in on him a lot. Low kick to the grind. Kick to the body. Oh, nice left hand from Blue straight through his guard. A lot of low kicking going on here. Working out ranges. Neither fighter really stringing together a, 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 any uh, combinations of any merit. Still feeling each other out, trying to work out. What's the best shot? Looking for that one shot that might finish him off. Right overhand hooks. That, that right jab works for, for him. Right hook. Oh, flurry of punches there. Oh. Ten seconds go. Oh, Red managed to knock him down. Push him back. Straight up. Fight. There we go. And that's the title fight. For my money, it's going to the blue corner, but uh, we'll wait for the judges' decision. See uh, what they have to th say about it. The next fight is sure to be a cracker. The last fight of the night, South Pacific Super Welterweight title. Full tie rules with uh, Brad Walton versus Jordan Rolander. Both of these guys are very big personalities. Uh, Brad having 20 fights, Jordan having 21 fights, and uh, both fighting out of uh, uh, some good gyms. Um, Brad fighting out of Team Walton, his own gym, but also uh, with Stephen Elliott Compton. And then uh, Jordan fighting out of Hard Out Muay Thai. Here we go back into the ring. Into the Bill of Cambia, Queensland Super Middleweight title tonight. Goes to the blue corner, Matthew Rinko. And Matthew walks away with the uh, Queensland title. Congratulations to Matthew and his team, Fighters Haven, Raylo Kujad, uh, trainer there. Getting the strap wrapped around his waist. Congratulations to him. And uh, Liam, good work to lay, Liam too. Can hold his head high. He uh, just couldn't quite work him out, I think. 